Greetings from the UK. This is Chris from Chrism Acrylic Pouring and today I'm going to be demonstrating a centre swipe with balloon rolls. I've used some beautiful mellow colours and the end result is absolutely fantastic. I started um, mixing up my swipe colour and I'm just using white acrylic paint which I thin slightly with some water so that it flows nicely over the other colours when I do my swipe. To this I add uh, silicon and this will help develop the cells and I make sure everything's mixed in nicely. I don't add silicon to my colours, just to the swipe colour. So the next stage is adding the base coat to the canvas. I just use white silk house paint mixed with our pouring medium. I decided on my centre swipe that I was going to blow the edges out with a hairdryer. So I laid the edges first and then I was going to blow with the hairdryer. Now, the um, paint is meant to be laid out in a straight line and I didn't realise I was um, sloping off to the right, but I will correct, correct this later. I also added um, the metallic gold to the outer edges, but when I came to do the um, interior of the swipe, I decided not to use the metallic gold at all. I wanted to make sure that when I blew out the paint, um, there would be a nice layer of white base coat for it to flow over. So I added more base coat at the top and also added it at the bottom. And I'm just feathering out the edges to make sure I don't leave any run marks. So this is fun using the hairdryer. And basically I'm pushing out the paint, trying to get some nice soft edges. And I just work my way along the um, edges, pushing out the paint and just looking at the um, shapes I'm creating. Once I finished using the hairdryer, I also used my mouth in certain areas to create some wide soft blooms and just to make sure that the composition was I was happy with. I love using the hairdryer because you do get some fantastic results. And because there's lots of base um, underneath the colours that I've blown out, you get some beautiful lacing, which is emphasised when you torch the um, edges. Now, because I had taken quite a while doing my edges, I realised that the inner section for my swipe had dried out a bit, so I've added a bit more um, base paint. The colours that I'm adding to the middle of the um, swipe is a beautiful, lush crimson colour, a dark cobalt violet hue, which is a lovely purpley colour, um, a cadmium yellow, which is a kind of very rich orangey yellow, and then a beautiful, subtle Naples yellow. And this yellow is just really kind of um, mellow. It's a mellow yellow. It's a lovely colour to use. Now, I was going to be using the gold as well, but I decided I didn't really need it. So I'm going to do my swipe. So I'm laying down a swipe colour that I had um, previously mixed up. And because I wanted this to fit into the um, video, I swipe sideways and I've realised that's why I'm all finger and thumbs on these videos because the majority of them I'm doing them sideways and my natural preference is to swipe down. But I did get the job done and now I'm going to give it a torch. This will help to bring out some beautiful shapes. So the painting has been sitting for half an hour and I'm just doing a close-up so you can see the beautiful lacing on the edges and the cells in the middle. So here is when I realised that my swipe was wonky. The right was sloping down, so um, I needed to correct that. Because I let the painting um, sit for half an hour, it gave a chance for the actual paint to um, set. If you try and do balloon kisses immediately after you've done your swipe, the paint infills, so the shapes disappear. You need to um, have the paint slightly solidified for the shapes to hold. Another thing I realised when I was um, filming, I, the clamp on my camera wasn't tightly secured and it was slowly dropping and uh, some of the video the painting is kind of off camera. So I've done a few um, detailed pics but I'm not sure how um, 
focused they are. So I've come out again and basically I'm just doing rolls now into the painting and then I'm going to start actually adding more paint to the canvas. So usually when I do my um, bloom swirls I use a lot of white but on this painting I wanted the colours to be more subtle so I was using more of the mellow Naples yellow. So when I'm adding my paint, I was adding a nice splash of the um, cadmium yellow and then a few dots of the um, violet and the crimson, but mainly the um, mellow maples yellow. And you do get some beautiful swirls and shapes when you're doing balloon rolls. I've edited the whole process down, but basically what I'm doing, I'm looking at the composition, I turn the canvas, I do keep on turning the canvas, I step away from the um, painting and I just keep on generally checking the composition and make, making sure that I'm happy with how everything is looking. With this kind of composition, I'm also looking for movement and the um, balloon rolls give a beautiful swirl to the um, painting and it just adds a kind of lovely element to it. If I found I've accidentally created a too straight a line, I blow it out with a straw, just softening the um, edges to make sure it's more curved. I'm looking for um, natural shapes and um, in nature there's very rarely do you find straight lines. So some of the um, shapes that I had blown out with the hair dryer weren't working for me. So I took my um, spreader and I just scraped them off the canvas. Now when you do this, you reveal the actual bare canvas underneath. So you have to cover the, it back over with um, base paint. And you just kind of spread it out as well as you can. Here is the dried canvas and I am just ecstatic as to how beautiful and gorgeous the colours look. The combination of those yellows with the violet and then the scarlet colour is absolutely scrumptious. It's very mellow but there is a beautiful depth to it and the movement of the bloom rolls I'm really pleased with. Thumbs up all round. I'm so pleased I decided not to go ahead with using the metallic gold because the painting would have been a totally different beast if I had and it's just gorgeous and mellow. Thank you so much for joining me and watching this video. I do hope you've enjoyed it and I really appreciate all your subscriptions and comments. Take care. Bye.